An invasive, fast-moving marine pest is spreading in Victorian waters. The Northern Pacific Sea Star is devastating shellfish stocks, latching onto mussels and oysters and reproducing at an alarming rate. Earthcare St Kilda, a non-profit volunteer group protecting the Port Phillip Bay natural environment, are forced to remove them by hand at low tide. With no natural predator, Earthcare representative Julianne Stewart believes the lack of publicity is a result of no government solution. I think it's been put into the too hard basket. There's no easy answer to get rid of them. Um, picking them up by hand is the best way, but you need to pick up every single one of them to get rid of them. I don't believe we're ever going to get rid of them. These ones here have been born in, in Melbourne, and I think they're pretty much here to stay. The sea star, native to northern Japan, China and Russia, was introduced through the bilge water of boats. This foreign, five-armed orange and purple species grows up to 50 centimetres, with females producing 20,000 eggs. Dedicated community volunteers come out in force right here in St Kilda monthly to remove the sea star, in which there are more of than all other eco-life combined in the area. Even when chopped in half, this species still survives and breeds. So desperate is the need to contain these spreading cane toad-like pests, a permit is compulsory to be allowed to remove them from the ocean. 500 and 700 a year, 100 kilos a year, and still we can go out there and see heaps. And what happens to the sea stars once they are removed? Put into a rubbish bin and the council collects them um, after we finish for the day and actually turns them into fertiliser and puts them on the council gardens. Jack Lloyd reporting for Mojo News.